So the trade deadline has come and passed, and guess what? The Eagles, they made a trade. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. So the trade deadline has come, and it is gone, and it is over. It is over. And as usual, when it comes to the NFL, there's really not a lot of movement. Sure, there's a few trades here or there, but when you compare it to like the NBA, NHL, it's never as active, okay? Um, but things do happen. Actually, I would say this. Uh, Ten years ago, there was like no movement at the trade deadline. Now you get a few things here or there. Um, as far as our Eagles go, they actually made a trade. Can you believe it? They actually made a trade. I, I, it came in late. I didn't think anything was going to happen. Nothing big. Nothing that you're thinking. Not Odell Beckham Jr. Not Devontae Parker. Which I don't know why people wanted him. I didn't want either. I didn't want either. I, I, I actually just wanted to sell. Just sell. Just sell. Anybody over 29, sell them. Go. Get rid of them. Let's go. Start over. Get picks. And let's make it happen. Trade Howie Roseman. Trade him. Trade JJ for a bag of, I don't know, for, for a half a Ritz cracker. Trade JJ. Trade everybody, man. Trade everybody. That's what I say. But the Eagles didn't do that. They uh, And look, it looked like it was going to happen. I mean, it looked like there was a possibility at one point that Fletcher Cox was going to go. He posted something, you know, a picture of himself saying forever Philly or whatever. And, and a lot of people took it as like, uh-oh, this could be, he may be going. Uh, there was some kind of talk about Odell Beckham Jr. And we're getting reports saying the Eagles really pushed. They really pushed to get rid of Fletcher Cox. Um, and they were willing to eat a lot of dead money next year to do it. Uh, so I got to say this. Most likely, if they tried this hard to get rid of Fletcher Cox now, he's probably not going to be here next year. He makes a lot of money, a lot of dead money for the against our cap. So I think the Eagles will probably do something. We'll see. But the Eagles did wind up making a move. They took a six-round pick, which we always got a ton of six-round picks, and they traded uh, a six-round pick to the Denver Broncos right at the wire, right before the deadline ended, and they got a cornerback named Kerry Vincent Jr. Now, I didn't know anything about Kerry Vincent Jr. Did a little bit of research after I found out they traded for him. He was a seventh-round pick by the Denver Broncos. Played at LSU. He was a two-sport athlete. He played football and track and field. He's 5'10", 180-something pounds. And he's fast. He's blazing fast. I think his 40 at his pro day was like a 4'3". Okay, the guy is fast. Um, so... There must be something that they see, some talent they see in him. Uh, this is obviously somebody that they're going to try to develop. Um, but look, I have no problem with this move. Um, a guy with that kind of speed, you know, goes to a good school in LSU. Uh, why not bring him in, see if you can develop him? Uh, you can never have uh, too many defensive backs. That's what I always say. So I'm totally cool. I'm totally content with that move. No question about it. I mean, I guess everybody was thinking there was going to be some big major move like the Von Miller move, right? Von Miller goes to the Rams. And the Rams are, are competitors now. No question about it. But there really wasn't anything of that. I think Melvin Ingram went to the Kansas City Chiefs. Adrian Peterson signed with the Titans. Uh, but, you know, not a lot of movement. And as far as our Eagles go, um, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I wouldn't have mind seeing some of the older guys go, clear some money. But... I didn't want Miles Sanders to go. I didn't want Andre. I didn't even want Andre Dillard to go. Because he's actually played good. And you know as soon as you trade him, as soon as you trade your backup tackle, somebody's going to go, Jordan Milano or somebody's going to go down for the year. It always happens to us. So I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with where we were at the trade. I wouldn't mind selling more. But I'm okay where we're at, you know. It's just a shame, to be honest with you. It's just a shame that today uh, we're focusing not really on the trade deadline. Everybody's talking about Henry Ruggs, okay. Henry Ruggs situation, Henry Ruggs situation, Henry Ruggs situation. It's horrible. It sucks, you know. And, and to me, um, you know, he's going to go to jail. He's, I don't see any way around it. 
he's going to go to jail. I, for those that don't know, he got in a car accident late, early in the morning, three in the morning, whatever. Uh, and and he got in a car accident, and somebody got killed in I guess another vehicle. And uh, you know he he was driving under the influence. He's being charged with a DUI. Being charged with a DUI means they already know if you were doing it or not. Uh, and so it's just a horrible situation. I feel horrible for the family of the victim and whoever got killed. I mean, it's a shame. Horrible for Ruggs. And, uh, you know, it just sucks. I, I loved Henry Ruggs coming out of college. No question about it. Um, to me, I thought he was having a great year showing how good he is. He was, he was leading the league in, like, average per catch. So this is a shame that this is all happening. But, um We'll see what happens. But that's what they're talking about at the trade deadline. Me, my focus, my focus right now for the Eagles is, is the Chargers. The Los, I want to say I want to say the San Diego Chargers, then the Los Angeles Chargers. I hate that. Los Angeles Chargers stinks. The name stinks. The team's team's good. But I don't I just they should be San Diego. You know what I'm saying? That's how I say it. That's how I say it. But it is what it is. Um my focus is on the Chargers this week. Uh, I think that the Eagles, as bad as it's been, as horrible ha as it's ha as we've had to deal with uh, things and all that, if the Eagles were somehow, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but somehow able in any which way to pull off an upset today, or not today, uh, Sunday, uh, guess what, man? The Eagles, they're in the playoff hunt because after this game, Things get a lot easier. They can beat the Jets. They can beat the Broncos. They can beat Washington. They can beat the Giants. Well, I know they can beat the Giants. Giants stink. Even though they gave they gave Kansas City a hell of a hell of a fight last night. I, I don't, I'm not big on the Giants. So you never know. You never know. But I mean, look, you got to go out. You have to run the ball. Uh, the, the Chargers have the worst run defense in the league. You got to do it, and Hertz is going to have to make plays with his arm at some point. Uh, last week, we saw how many times the Eagles ran, but the truth of the matter is this. The only reason they ran so many times was because by midway through the third quarter, the game was over. So what did they do? They started running and running and running because they wanted to get the game over with. Uh, that's not going to happen this week. Uh, Herbert is a great quarterback, one of my favorite young quarterbacks in the league, and uh, we got... We got we got we we got a tough matchup, and I don't know how we're going to do it. But if they can find a way, this team they could get into the playoff hunt, no question. The wild card. Dallas obviously is running away with the division, and I know Cow Cowboy fans are just they're all out in full effect, man. They think they need to they need to be dropped a couple pegs. You know what I'm saying? Mark Holmes needs to come down a couple pegs. Give me some of the meats. You know what I'm saying? But you, I got to give them credit. I got to give the Cowboys credit. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But they went and they beat Minnesota without Dak. I thought that was a big win. Big confidence booster for that team. I think they're going to win the division. But, hey, look, if we beat the Chargers, if we beat the Chargers, I'll talk about other things. But right now, Nick, yeah, he's not Nick. He's Nick Seriani this week. Nick Seriani has to come out. Has to have a good game plan. You have to continue to run, and you have to continue to pressure, to bring pressure, to blitz, to do those things, to get pressure on the quarterback. If they continue to do those things, the Eagles will be in this game. If the Eagles are in this game, they got a chance to win it. If they win it, if they win it, we're going to really enjoy our cigar, and then maybe I'll get a little cocky. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to stay humble. Who the hell knows? With that said. Take care. I will talk to you later. And of course, don't be a dingbat. So I know during the video, a lot of people are wondering what's under this hat. What happened to the disgusting mohawk? What happened to it? Well, I got to tell you, I went to the store and I was walking down the aisle and I was looking at some stuff, and somebody says, oh my gosh, Denzel Washington, is that you? And I was like, oh God, here we go again. I was like, uh, no ma'am, no, it's not. Uh, I know I look like him, but I'm not Denzel Washington. Oh my gosh, the resemblance is, it's Kenny. 
is Kenny. The only thing is, I just thought you were Denzel Washington with a mohawk. That, that, I thought you had a mohawk. Said, no, ma'am, it was Halloween. But now, as you guys can see, it is all gone. We are clean, and we are ready to go. And now it grows back. And now I've shaved this for my wife. So it's time for matrimonial duties. Peace. And you know what? Denzel Washington.